think I'm live. I've got a few watching, I think. So, hi everyone. Tracy Bish here, your Stampy Up demonstrator from Central Victoria, Australia. And welcome to Tracy's Sunday Challenge. I hope you're having a really great weekend, wherever you are. It's been uh, a very white morning this morning out here. So, lots and lots of frost. I'm just trying to grab my video up on my laptop so I can see any comments as they come up. As you're watching, please tell me that, you know, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from if you're new here. Um, let's see. You might be able to hear in the background. My um, German Shepherd's playing with her new ball. We had uh, my son, my son's dog come out for the weekend. He's gone away. So we're looking after his little little child and yeah so they needed to play with some balls all right i think i've got it up so hopefully everyone's having a really great weekend have you been up to anything exciting hi glenda hi sean hi melinda how are you so nice to have you all righty so each week we do a different challenge and i'm excited for this one it's going to be a fun one Oh, Glenda thought it sounded like a bird. <laughs> no, just, she chews on the squeaky board <clears throat> until she gets that squeaker out. But uh, yeah, you just gotta put up with it. <laughs> so, Pretty Birds is one of the bundles in the annual catalog. This is such a cute one. Now we grew up with budgies, and um, so this one's always fun. I know a lot of people don't like birds and my husband is one person who does not like birds. So, um, but I just thought this is a really great stamp set. The dies that go with it is a really great as well because you have bird cages and lots of different things that you can create with it. So that's what we're working with today, birds. Judas braid apricot jam, yum. Oh, Sean thought it was a bird as well. <laughs> oh, thank you, Melinda. It's nice to have you here as well. All right, so let me show you the card that we're going to be creating today. It is this one here. I love the white. This is also embossed with that quatrefoil embossing folder. <coughs> Sorry. This always happens on Sunday and I don't know why. Um, but look at this. I have doubled up the layers of the bird cage, so it's like a 3D effect. It's so cool. And you've got the birds on a perch in the background. So love it. Now the colours I've used for the for the budgies are very traditional colours, I think. Um, we had mainly had these colours uh, when we had budgies as kids, but Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party and Daffodil Delight. I think these ones, these colours together are so summery bright and fun and perfect for these little birds. And I just, I think this card is absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to get started with it. Um, I have basic white thick cardstock. Now all the measurements can be found over my blog. There is a link to my blog post in the description of this video if you want to go over and check everything out over there. There's also clickable links uh, to purchase any of the products that I've used on today's card as well. So please go over and check that out. Okay, now I've done a little bit of backstory as well because I think um, sometimes it's a little bit easier to go a bit faster when we're creating. Okay, so I have where are my pieces? I don't think I've cut this one down fully. No, so I'll just cut that one down really quickly. I have actually die cut six of the uh, bird cages in basic uh, basic black cardstock uh, to layer them together. Now, I love the look of it being raised. It gives that 3D effect and um, should I go there instead? Gives it a really great 3D effect. 
And all I've done is I've just used my Tombow glue, my liquid adhesive, and glued them all together. It gives it a really great um, solid feel to it. The other thing you could do if you didn't want to cut out six of these, because these are super thin, you could also cut out or die cut with the foam adhesive sheets as well. And then that would give you that 3D effect as well. So it's up to you how you would like to do it. So we do have basic white thick in uh, both the card base and our matting, which we're going to pop through with the quatrefoil embossing folder. This is so pretty. It's in the annual catalog. It gives it such a great, uh, pretty design. And it's really uh, quite um, textured. It's really, really pretty. So we're gonna pop that one through in a minute. I'll move that to the side. I can also move this one to the side. And we're gonna do a little bit of uh, stamping. Now with the stamps, there's a few ones that you could use. I've used the birds in a row. So that one there. And also the single bird, which is a detailed. It's like a two-step stamping or three-step stamping, depending on how you want to um, layer your colours together. We're actually watercolouring with with these, so we're not um, we're not stamping with them with colours. We're going to use our water painters to make sure that we have a nice, gorgeous colouring. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to turn this side on we're going to stamp the layered piece and what I want to do is I'm going to add this to my basic white and grab a pencil and I'm just going to draw around the outline because we're going to fussy cut this one and this will just help it line up if you don't do it this way You won't get um, the birds sitting on the ed there, edge there properly. Actually, probably used, should have used the one that's got multiple layers, a little bit less flexible. So hopefully that works for me. And I'm also going to just do a little bit of a very faint line where the edge of the bird cage is. That's where I want to stamp the little row of them there. All right. We're going to heat emboss because when I watercolour, I find it's always easier if you have it uh, heat embossed. That way, it'll stay in the lines a little bit better. It won't blend out so much. So let's stamp along that line. And I'm going to grab my black embossing powder. Now these are in the basics. Comes in a pack, so which are awesome. I say this all the time. Heat embossing is my favourite, favourite technique. And I'm so glad that Stamping Up brought the black embossing powder back. They got rid of it there for a little while. But I love it. So there we have it. I do have a stray piece there, so let's get rid of that. Perfect. And then before we bring the heat tool in, let's also do our single budgie there as well. So when you watercolor, how do you normally do it? Do you stamp in the stays on? Do you heat emboss? I don't use the stays on too much anymore. So if I can heat emboss, that's definitely what I do. I'm just gonna get rid of, I could have grabbed my embossing tool to make sure I didn't have any stray powders, but I'll show you guys what not to do. <laughs> I think that's my, my thing. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Hi Deborah, how are you? Sean has the lit that folder, the Quattro 4 folder on her list. Yes, it's a must, I think. <laughs> Hi Crystal, how are you? Could I make the cage into a shaker cage? A absolutely. Uh, you could die cut them out. Then I would um, cut out your window sheet and attach that. And then you could also um, build that up on the sides to attach down. So yeah, absolutely. You could make that into a wonderful shaker card. Good idea. Deborah says she has budgies and they have babies. Oh wow, I used to love that when the budgies did have babies. Yes, Judith, you could use the dye and I think that's probably what I did on uh, this one. You're so true. A oh, good idea, Crystal, yeah. The um, no-line watercolour and so you stamp it in a very light stamped off colour. Great idea. I just love the boldness of the black embossing. Really sets the image off, I think. So the new mini catalogue is out. Has everyone done an order for your Christmas crafting? I'm so excited, this catalogue is amazing. I'm really happy with all the Halloween themed products as well. I did get a couple of those. And I th I'm thinking I may do, well, I'm pretty, pretty certain I'm going to do the um, spooktacular September again because that was so much fun. So I'm just looking now. I know I grabbed out my water painter. There we have it. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly color these in. I'm adding the ink to my lid. There we go. So we're working with Daffodil Delight first. Just gonna, I'm not using too much water. This is thick cardstock, but I don't wanna use too much water in it. You just wanna be able to move that color around nicely. in so cute yeah so spectacular September I did that I've done that each year I don't know whether I've done spectacular September each year but um, I've definitely done Halloween themed so I'm excited for that I've got a few ideas in mind already I want to do a little bit of Christmas in July because I'm so excited to start my Christmas crafting so I've just added a little bit of a beautiful bright yellow so nice and I do need either a cloth or I've got a tissue here I'll use that and to get rid of that color all you need to do is just wipe it on a tissue or a cloth to get rid of it perfect Right, I'm going to move to the parakeet party. Beautiful bright lime green. I was so excited that this one come out. I'm hoping that they may do a colour refresh, which I know they only did that a couple of years ago, but um, I would love to see this in our colours. I just love parakeet party. So I'm just adding a nice bit of green. And we're blending the colors in a little bit together. Um, we don't wanna wash any of the colors out, but you can blend them just slightly as well. So is anyone thinking what bird sets do I have? The great thing is Stamping Up have um, 
lots and lots of bird stamp sets as well as DSP. Even um, that host uh, DSP pack in the annual catalog, that's got birds in it as well. So I'm sure you guys could find something in your stash. You might have something that is retired now. You could use that. Glenda's ready to put in her order number two. Awesome. What's everyone's favorite product now? We can really start talking about it because I didn't want to talk too much about it before when either you didn't have your catalog or um, you couldn't see what was in the catalog yet. Oh. For me, I'm really excited for the Scotty Dog bundle. That's a little, um, is it a schnauzer? I don't know. I've said that and that sounds silly, so I'm not sure what dog that is, but it's cute. Need a little bit more blue. There's a lot of green on this one, but it'll be fine. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, Judith, I have no idea. I'll get the punch out. People who know their dogs a little bit better than I do. Does anyone? Scottish Terrier. Thank you, Glenda. Hence, Scotty Dog, probably. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I'm silly. Um, and we're also going to bring in the soft suede just for a long that branch. Now you don't really see it because um, that's where the, the bird cage is, but you might see a little bit of it. So I recommend giving it a quick color. So cute. And I think I'm gonna grab just a quick petal pink. And just for this larger bird, I want to do a nice pink there. Don't want to leave that any other colour. That is so pretty. So relaxing to do a little bit of water colouring. How good is that? Alright, I'm actually going to grab that dye out. Let me see if that's going to work. So I'm just making sure that those lines were good, which I think they are. So we can always come back through and make sure. All right, so let's bring the cut and emboss machine in. We're going to emboss our quatrefoil matting piece. So I've got uh, the platform one and our th two three plates, two number three plates, just those cutting ones. Look at this. Look at that detail. That is absolutely gorgeous. This would be really nice. Used a, a blending brush over the top. That would look really, really pretty. Okay, so we might as well do a little bit of die cutting while we have the machine under the camera. And I have a piece of Parakeet Party cardstock. And I'm just gonna grab out some of these. So in the die set, there is three, four, five, six leaves. So we're going to pop them through. For my card, I think I've done, I've done five. So 
mixture of the fat ones and the thin ones. The birds remind me of those extremely noisy little parrots that wake you in dawn. We get a lot of um, rosellas around. I've noticed a lot of those around lately. Um, and the tropical ones. I have no idea the name of them. But, um, and of course, you know, your galahs and Corellas and lots of birds. All right. We can bring in some of our pieces. I'm going to do some little bit of fussy cutting before we start popping the card together. So let's do our single budgie first. I'm so nervous that I'm going to make a mistake with that one. It's funny when you do cards, I never do anything really wrong, but I turn the camera on and if it can go wrong, it'll go wrong. <laughs> so I'm so glad that you guys watch me each week and can learn from my mistakes. I really love this black heat embossing because it has that little bit of shine and really sets those colours off. Last little bit. What's everyone else doing for the rest of the weekend? Have you got anything on this afternoon? did a little bit of crafting last night. I've got a little bit more to do. I'm actually going to go on this side of that line and then that way I can come back in and take a little bit more off and that'll make more sense to me. Now unfortunately there's only in the die set the detailed one, there's no outline. So, just got to work it out a little bit for yourself, but I did it the first time, so I'm sure I can do it again. If I line it up, I can see where I need to take more off. And take it from here. I do need to take just a little bit off each side, just a slight slither. So I think we're going to go into Bendigo again today to drop off my son's dog. He went away down to, I think, Rosebud Rye area for a family birthday party of his girlfriends so um, rather than come all the way out here when they get back we'll drop Baz off to make it a bit easier for him that's perfect now can you see how bright that white cardstock is compared to the card what I did is I came in with the stamping blends and I've used the pool party because I think the pool party will work well I'm gonna use the light um, what you want to do is you just want to sort of break up that dark or stark white so it's not sort of so in your face. So I'm just going to do a quick colouring. I think I need a new pool party stamping blend. <laughs> These combos have been very well used. A 
as you can see. <laughs> There's actually quite a few of my stamping blends that I need to exchange out, so um, I think I'll do my order while Celebration's on. So while we're doing this, let me tell you about Celebrations. This is, we'll go for this month and next month, and it's a perfect opportunity to earn free craft products. So there is a Celebration catalog, which um, I think I have one on my desk, I'm not sure. Yep, here it is. So the Celebration catalog is packed full of free products. Now they can range from stamp sets, die sets, uh, DSP, lots of great products. And all you need to do to get those free products is to put in a qualifying order. So here in Australia, um, it is for every $90 you can choose a product. There is also two items in there that are $180 spend. So um, if you want those, you just put in $180 spend and that is before shipping. So each country has a different amount, but we all have the same products. And I'm pretty sure we don't need to go down that far. Just a little bit further. So it's perfect if you do a lot of holiday crafting, you can put in an order and get some free products. Um, or even if you don't, if you need cardstock or more DSP or some tools, some adhesives, you can place that order and get those uh, products, those free products using those items that you need. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna add some liquid adhesive to our last bird cage. And this is what I did with all of them. I just didn't want you to sit here and watch me do this six times over. So just a little bit of glue on each point. Like I said, if you didn't want to um, die cut these six times, you could um, use a foam adhesive. That would work really well. But look at that. That's nice and thick. Gives it a great 3D effect. Okay, and we're gonna pop this one down. So let's add more adhesive to the back in those spots again. And it lines up really nicely with that perch. And the green glue is really very strong glue. You just need to hold it for just a few seconds. And they look like they're sitting back away from the edge, which is great. This 3D effect's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my glue dots and I know I'm almost to the end of the roll because I did use quite a few yesterday. Hopefully I've got enough to add all my leaves to. It is cold here, so they're not gonna work as well. So I'm gonna add two to the top of the bird cage and then I'm also going to add the rest to my single budgie. This just breaks everything down a little. This parakeet party is my favourite. So bright, so happy. And I'm not even a green person, I'm a blue person but I just love this. Hi Beverly, how are you? 
Oh, thank you, Glenda. Yeah, I know everyone makes them. I just feel silly sometimes <laughs> with how many I make, but that's okay. The great thing is, is you get to learn from my mistakes, so you guys don't have to do it as well. Last one. I'm gonna pop that over here. Great. Hi, Carol. Watching in Connecticut. Thank you. Hi, Deborah. How are you today? It must be afternoon over there now, I think. Alrighty. So we're going to just glue this one straight down to our quatrefoil. There is a lot of texture on that, so I'm going to make sure that I've got a decent amount of glue. But it's not going to come out anyway because we don't want that. Oh, thank you, Carol. Okay, so. So everyone that's just jumped on or you're just watching me, oh, it's seven o'clock, awesome. Um, each week I do a Sunday challenge. So you're all very, very welcome to come and join in. All you do is you create a card with the challenge. So this week's challenge is birds. And then you pop over to my Facebook page and then leave a picture in the comments there. It's always going to be uh, pinned to the top of my Facebook page so you don't have to go searching through but I would love if people joined in I have my regulars that do it each each week but the more the merrier and then make sure you go and check out everyone's um, designs too because it's a great way to get inspiration off everyone which is always so much fun 4 p.m. in California Perfect. Well, I'm glad that you've been able to make it. So lots of dimensionals. We're going to pop that straight down onto our card base. If you were going to do this card, would you change the colours? And if so, what colours would you choose? I love to see what people go with. Okay. There we go. Almost done. Let me come grab some of that Simply Elegant twine. Don't have any on my desk. I'm so glad that this is still in our annual catalogue. This is the perfect twine for Christmas. You can't go wrong with gold and silver. And there's tons in this pack and it's a double pack. Do you know, you get the gold and the silver all in one pack. So I thought I'd do a gold bow. Carol likes the colours I've used. Glenda would do blue lilac colours maybe. Yes. Oh, that would look really pretty, Glenda. Absolutely. Should I make this a little bit bigger? There we go. And I need my ribbon scissors. I tried cutting this with just my paper snips and my paper snips are pretty blunt, so I don't do too well cutting that. Okay, and a glue dot, just to secure that down. Just gonna roll it, just slightly. It's super cold here, so in summertime they roll really well. Not so much in winter. They're quite hard. Perfect. Now I didn't do it on this one, but let me grab out the Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella just to this, this budgie. Why not add a little bit of sparkle and shine? Oh my goodness, that looks so much better. I know it probably won't show up on the camera, but I'm going to do this one as well now. 
because that looks really nice. So cute. Love it. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, super cute card. Easy way of creating 3D effects using your dies just by layering them up. Um, very easy to do. Like I said, you could use multiple layers of your cardstock or you could also use our adhesive um, foam strips or foam sheets. They would work as well. So, cool. All right. Hi, Marilyn. How... Carolyn, sorry, I'm looking at Marion and Carolyn. I put it together. Sorry, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Hi, Marion. Marilyn, Marion is You're staying in bed. Yeah, it is cold. I don't blame you. All right. Judith says blues for the grandson. Yeah, that would look really nice in that as well. All right. So before all you guys leave, thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love that that you're all here watching. Don't forget, you can join in and we would love to see what you create. Um, I just want to quickly let you know about my mini catalogue paper share. I did a video yesterday, so you can check that out here on YouTube. Um, the paper share, you'll get a quarter pack of each of the 12 designer series papers. You can find them on page 82 of the mini catalogue. Um, you'll also receive four card kits with everything you need to, to uh, pop those cards together a video tutorial and a PDF tutorial to put them together. Um, I'm also adding extra classes on. So there's the Scotty Dog bundle with the with the paper share. There is a Celebrate with Tags bundle with the paper share and the Kindest Gnomes bundle and the paper share, or you could get it all. So go and check that out. Um, sign up is by 14th of July so you've got a few days or quite a few days you've got almost two weeks to sign up so I would love if you joined in um, it should be a lot of fun I'm so excited for this paper share all right everyone Deborah says low 80s here would that be I think that's around in the 30s 30s over here thank you so much everyone all right, have a great rest of your weekend, whatever you're up to, and I hope to see you all very soon. All right, bye-bye.